Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum, proud to welcome you to this championship round of the 27th annual Nevada Science Bowl. We've got the best and brightest high school students competing for cash prizes for their schools and an all-expense paid trip to the Department of Energy's National Science Bowl in Washington, D.C. The first place team will win $5,000 for their school's math or science department. Our two finalists have emerged from a day-long head-to-head competition. We want to go ahead and meet the team members and students as you introduce yourselves. We'll ask you to test your buzzer. Tell us your name, your school, your grade, and your favorite fruit. Nathan Tonnen, I'm proud to be your moderator. My favorite fruit is going to be the banana. A3. Hello, I'm Joseph Tran. I'm a senior at Coronado High School, and my favorite fruit is the strawberry. Oh, you can't go wrong with the strawberry. No, you can't. A2. Hi, I'm Simon Blackhurst. I'm also a senior at Coronado, and my favorite fruit is mangoes. Oh, good. A captain. I'm Tim Gutterman, senior at Coronado High School, and my you stole my favorite fruit. It's the banana. Bananas we can are share. good. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the banana. Thank you. A1. I'm Michael Williamson. I'm a junior at Coronado, and my favorite fruit is passion fruit. Oh, excellent. B1. Hello, I'm Jay Desai, a senior at, at W. Clark High School, and my favorite fruit is pineapple. That's great. Uh, and ask you when you speak again, don't lean into the microphone. The microphone can hear you just fine. Thank you, sir. B, Captain. My name is Ashish Kalkunza. I'm from, I'm a junior at Clark High School. My favorite fruit would have to be the pomegranate. Oh, pomegranates are good, yeah. B2. I'm Jeff Liu. I'm in 11th grade and my favorite fruit is lemon. Lemon, nice. And B3. I am Brennan. I am a junior from Clark High School and my favorite fruit is probably an apple. Apples are good too. All right, so the reason we do that is just to get the kids a chance to loosen up a little bit because the uh, competition is intense. So I believe we are good to go. We have eight minutes on the clock. We have two eight-minute halves. And let's get started with this toss-up question for both teams. The category is Earth and Space. It is a short answer question. During a solar eclipse, an observer's view of the sun is completely blocked by the moon. The observer is therefore standing in what region of the moon's shadow? And that's A, Captain. Umbra. Correct. A bonus question now for Team A only. Earth and space is your category. It's a multiple choice question. Which of the following statements best reflects our current understanding of the past and present Mars atmosphere? W. It's always been about as, th as thick as Earth's atmosphere today. X. It has always been much thinner than Earth's atmosphere today. Y. It was thick shortly after formation, but has since thinned due to solar wind. Z. It was thin shortly after formation, but has since thickened due to volcanic outgassing. You have 20 seconds. Why? Why is correct. You've got bonus points. Here's a toss-up now for both teams. Chemistry is the category of short answer question. Identify all of the following three terms that can describe the behavior of water. One, nucleophile. Two, Lewis base. Three, Bronsted acid. And that's B, Captain. All. Correct. A bonus question now for Team B only. Chemistry is the category of short answer question. Identify all of the following three statements that are true of crystal field theory. One, D orbitals in a coordinated metal can be higher in energy than in the isolated metal ion. Two, all D orbitals are elevated in energy equally when a metal is coordinated. Three, in a coordinated metal ion, the D orbitals are degenerate. 20 seconds. Two and three? Incorrect. We're looking for one. No bonus points. Now a toss-up for both teams. Energy is the category. It's a multiple choice question. DOE scientist working on the Dark Energy Survey at Fermilab serendipitously discovered a potential dwarf planet orbiting the sun at 92 AU. Which of the following is closest in Earth years to the orbital period of this object? W, 110. X, 1,100. Y, 11,000. And that is B, Captain. 1,100? That is correct. 
Here's a bonus question for Team B only. Energy is the category. It's a short answer question. Researchers supported by Ames Lab have recently provided spectroscopic evidence for a type of material in which the electron and hole bands are connected at wild points, which are in turn connected by Fermi arcs. These materials are a specific type of what general group of materials in electronic band theory? 20 seconds. Semiconductors? Incorrect. We're looking for semi-metal. No bonus points. Toss up for both teams now. Physics, the category is a multiple choice question. Which of the following thermodynamic quantities is a path function? W, energy. X, enthalpy. Y, entropy. And that is B, Captain. Z. Z is correct. Heat. Bonus question for Team B only. Physics, the category, it's a short answer question. A solid, uniform, cylindrical rod has moment of inertia, I, when rotating about its center like a propeller. In terms of I, what is the moment of inertia of a second rod of the same density but twice the length when rotated about its symmetry axis? Axis, you have 20 seconds. Four. Means 4i? 4i because i squared. 4i? 4i? Incorrect. The answer, 8i. No bonus points. Toss up for both teams. Um, uh, math is the category. Multiple choice question. Let f of x be a continuous and differentiable function on the closed interval 2, 6. Which of the following could be the x value guaranteed by the mean value theorem for this situation? w, 0. x, 3. y, 6. Z, 9. And that's A, Captain. Z. Z is incorrect. B, Captain. Zero. Incorrect. The answer was X, 3. We move to a toss-up for both teams. Biology, the category, short answer question. Identify all of the following three classes that contain organisms that produce amniotic eggs. One, reptilia. Two, aves. Three, mammalia. And that is B, 1. One and two. Incorrect. A, Captain. Three. Incorrect. The answer was all of them. We move to a toss-up for both teams. Category, Earth and Space, multiple choice. Which of the following is closest to the average density in grams per cubic centimeter of Earth's core? W, 5.5. X, 7.1. Y, 8.9. Z, 12.8. And that's B, Captain. X. X is incorrect. A, 2. Y. Y is incorrect. The answer is Z, 12.8. Toss up for both teams. Physics is the category. This is a short answer question. An engineer designs a step down transformer to convert 240 volts RMS down to 20 volts RMS. If the primary winding has 600 turns, how many turns are required on the secondary winding? B, Captain. 50. Correct. A bonus question for Team B only. Physics is the category, a short answer question. In volts to the nearest tenth, what is the change in potential from a distance of three meters to a distance of six meters of a one nanocoulomb point charge? 20 seconds. Point three. Incorrect. The answer, 1.5. No bonus points. Toss up for both teams. Biology, the category, a short answer question. What gene editing method relies on synthetic guide RNAs to direct Cas nucleases to target sites for gene editing? That's B2. PCR. That is correct. A bonus question now for Team B only. Stop the clock, please. I, I called on B2, B2 spoke, another player spoke, but that doesn't matter. It's not counted as a blurt because I recognize the player that buzzed in. The player shouldn't have spoken, and we ask players not to speak until they are specifically recognized. B2 was recognized, the correct answer was given. So, to start the clock, we have a bonus question now for Team B only. Biology is the category, it's a multiple choice question. In a typical mouse mammalian research model, which type of epithelial cell would be most prevalent lining kidney tubules? W, simple cuboidal. X, simple columnar. Y, simple squamous. Z, stratified columnar. You have 20 seconds. I don't know. X. 
X. X is incorrect. The answer W, simple cuboidal. No bonus points. Toss up for both teams now. Math is your category. It's a short answer question. What is the largest prime factor of 165? B, Captain. 11. Correct. A bonus question for Team B only. Math is your category. This is a short answer question. What is the standard deviation of the following list of four numbers? 7, 7, 9, 17. You have 20 seconds. Four. Incorrect. The answer, root 17. We've come to the halftime of our match. We have some people to recognize who help with the Nevada Science Bowl. We want to recognize all of the timekeepers and judges and moderators and many more volunteers. Plus, none of this could be possible without our generous sponsors, and we'll be giving them some special recognition later in the program. And a special thanks to all of the teachers and coaches who bring their teams to the Nevada Science Bowl. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, format and the rules as we have a halftime break that will continue after this. The Nevada Science Bowl is Nevada's premier academic competition for high school students from all over the region. When the smartest students gathered for the Nevada Science Bowl this year, it marked our 27th annual competition. 32 teams face off, answering fast-paced, difficult questions and problems crossing all science disciplines biology, chemistry, earth science, physics, space, energy, mathematics, and more. The top 12 teams win cash prizes for their school's math or science department, including a $5,000 first prize for the championship winner. The winning team also gets to represent Nevada at the Department of Energy's National Science Bowl in Washington, D.C. Nevada Science Bowl is staffed by dozens of volunteers giving up their time to help prepare the next generation of scientists and researchers. Nevada Science Bowl enjoys support from donors like the National Nuclear Security Administration Nevada Field Office, that's the branch of the Department of Energy responsible for the Nevada National Security Site, formerly the Nevada Test Site. The site is managed and operated by Mission Support and Test Services, or MSTS, another big supporter of STEM education and Nevada Science Bowl. Other sponsors include Navarro, the Department of the Interior, and Vegas PBS. Everyone works together to make Nevada Science Bowl the premier academic competition for high school students in Nevada. At registration on Friday afternoon, students and coaches receive t-shirts and Nevada Science Bowl collectibles and keepsakes. Each school takes home a plaque celebrating their involvement in Nevada Science Bowl. The competition starts early on Saturday morning when the best and brightest high school teams square off. One by one, 32 teams advance or face elimination. And finally, it all comes down to the two teams in the championship match to decide who will take home the Nevada Science Bowl title. Welcome back. We're about to find out which team will win the championship of the Nevada Science Bowl. The score is close. Coronado with 14 to Clark's 24. Before we begin our second eight-minute half, we do have a couple of new players that we'd like to introduce. Player, we ask you to test your buzzer. Tell us your name, your school, your grade level, and your favorite fruit if you have one. A3. Hi, my name is Samuel Wayne. I'm a senior at Coronado High School, and my favorite fruit is the strawberry. Love strawberries. And we have a new player for Clark. It's B3. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a sophomore from Clark High School, and my favorite fruit is a persimmon. Ooh, persimmons. Love those. Timekeeper, we have eight minutes. And the second half begins as I read this, this question. It's a toss-up for both teams. Category is energy. It is a multiple choice question. Scientists at Oak Ridge National Lab are simulating the breakdown of lignocellulosic biomass in the presence of tetrahydrofuran, or THF. What purpose does the THF serve in this reaction? W, catalyst. X, solvent. Y, reactant. Z, chaotropic agent. And that's A, captain. W. W is incorrect. B, captain. Y. Y is incorrect. The answer, X, a solvent. Uh, Toss-up for both teams. Chemistry is the category. It is a multiple choice question. A student is interested in the optical properties 
of chiral molecules. So she successively performs a chlorination, bromination, and an iodination of methane. However, she's disappointed to find out that the resulting product demonstrates no optical rotation of polarized light. Which of the following best explains this? W, she prepared a racemic mixture. X, only certain chiral molecules demonstrate optical rotation. Y, geometric isomers demonstrate optical rotation, not stereoisomers. Z, only larger, more complex chiral molecules demonstrate optical rotation. B2. X. X is incorrect. A, Captain. Y. Y was incorrect. The answer was W. She prepared a racemic mixture. Toss up for both teams. Biology, the category. Multiple choice. In the lac operon, allolactose can be classified as what? W, repressor. X, inducer. And that is B3. X. X is correct. Here's a bonus question. It's for team B only. Uh, the category is biology. It is a multiple choice question. In a typical neuron, Voltage-gated potassium channels are gated so that they open at what potential in millivolts? W, negative 100. X, negative 70. Y, negative 30. Z, plus 40. You have 20 seconds. Do you remember the twist you have? It's not, it's not negative 100. Not 40 either. It's either one. It's two, right? It's, it's either negative 70 or negative. Wait, but they say potassium. It's negative 30. Negative 30. Negative, okay, negative. Negative 30? Incorrect. The answer, plus 40. No bonus points. Toss up for both teams. Math, your category, short answer question. Point P is one of the vertices of a 42-sided convex polygon. How many diagonals of the polygon have point, and that is B3? 39. Correct. Bonus for team B only. Categories math, a short answer question. Give the parametric equations in terms of t for the line that is parallel to the vector negative 5i minus 6j plus 2k and that passes through the point 4, negative 2, 8. 20 seconds on the clock. Okay, so I got this. Negative 5t plus 4, y equals negative 6t minus 2, z equals 2t plus 8. That is correct. You've got bonus points. Here's a toss-up for both teams. Categories energy, a short answer question. Ames lab researchers have been studying the atomic scale geometry of platinum ions when they're incorporated into large porous complexes consisting of metal cations and organic ligands. What is the name for this group of complexes? A, Captain. Coordination complexes? Incorrect. B, Captain. Platinum ligands? No, they are metal organic frameworks, or MOEs. We move to a toss-up for both teams. Categories physics, this is a multiple choice question. The Fermi energy of semiconductors lies in which of the following regions? W, valence band. X, band gap. Y, conduction band. Z, ground state. And that's B, Captain. X. X is correct. This is a bonus now for Team B only. The category is physics. You have a short answer question. Allison measures the net charge inside a cell to be negative 9.0 picocoulombs. Assuming this charge is perfectly enclosed by the cell membrane, what's the magnitude of the flux to two significant figures and in Newton meters squared per coulomb through that cell membrane? 20 seconds. I think it would be higher, bro. Mm. Uh, 8.1 times 10 to the negative 29? Incorrect. The answer was 1. No bonus points. Toss up for both teams. Earth and space, the category. Short answer question. What is the name given to the end moraine that denotes the farthest advance of glacial ice? That's B1. Terminal line. Stop the clock, please. Uh, judge, can we accept that? 
Okay. Okay, that is incorrect. Uh, start the clock again. We'll have some remaining time. And A, Captain. Glacial terminal line? No, we're looking for terminal moraine. So we move to a toss-up for both teams. Chemistry is the category, multiple choice. Which of the following atoms has an atomic radius closest to the atomic radius of sodium? W, beryllium. X, magnesium. Y, calcium. Z, strontium. And that's A2. Y. Y is correct. Here's a bonus question. It's for team A only. Categories chemistry, you have a short answer question. Arrange the following three classes of organic compounds in increasing order of electrophilicity. One, ketone. Two, ester. Three, amide. You have 20 seconds. I have no idea. I don't know what that is. I think we should say we said to hurry. amide last. So then two, one, three. Try sure. Two, one, three. Incorrect, we're looking for three, two, one. No bonus points, toss up for both teams. Math is your category, this is a short answer question. What is the dot product of 4i minus 7j and 5i plus 2j? And that's A, Captain. 20i minus 14j. That is incorrect. And B1? Six. That is correct. Don't lean into the mic. Here's a bonus question for team B only. Math is the category, a short answer question. A restaurant has a special that allows you to pick any two of 11 possible items and allows two of the same item. How many different orders are possible? You have 20 seconds. 66. That is correct, you've got bonus points. We move to a toss-up for both teams. Earth and space are categories, a short answer question. On the planet Jupiter, what term describes the cooler, dark bands of latitude that correspond to atmospheric downwelling? A1. Strata. Incorrect. Did he clear? Stop the clock, and B1, now go ahead, B, Captain. Terminal lines? Incorrect, the answer was belts. In the category is physics, it's a short answer question. In order to solve a physics problem, a student calculates the surface integral of the normal component of an electric field over a particular surface area. What physical quantity is the student determining? A, Captain. Magnetic flux. Incorrect. And that's B, Captain. Charge? Incorrect. The answer was electric flux. We've run out of time. Let's find out who won. So the final score, Clark with 60, Coronado with 18. We have a winner of the 2018 Nevada Science Bowl. Before we get to congratulating Clark, we wanted to take a moment and recognize the incredible achievement of these young people from Coronado High School, uh, finishing in second place, getting this really nice trophy. Each of the students wins a medal, but perhaps more importantly, there is a check for $2,500 for Coronado's math and science program. Congratulations to Coach Matt Aberman and all of these great students from Coronado. You guys are awesome. Now, for our winning team from Clark High School, we say congratulations. Not only a medal and the medals and the trophy for first place, a check for $5,000 to Clark High School. And Coach Chuck Bean, congratulations for winning the 2018 Nevada Science Bowl. And all of these young people will be representing Nevada when they travel to our nation's capital to, to compete in the National Science Bowl. We wish you guys the best of luck in D.C. And we'll see you next year for the 2019 Science Bowl right here on Vegas PBS. Thanks for tuning in. Good night.